Hello YouTubers, this is a follow-up video to the Orange Axis 3 Axis Flight Stabilizer version 2 um, follow-up to the video I posted up yesterday. A couple of questions came up and uh, hopefully answer these today. So first things, um, this is the unit and it's the version 2 and it's compatible for Delta and this is a tutorial explanation what have you to do a Delta setup. Uh, first things first, you need to set your transmitter up correctly, and that's uh, basically turning the elevon off. So if you've got the elevon on, this is what happens. You're, you've got your elevator uh, trying to mix with your aileron, and basically uh, the control uh, can't, can't do it correctly. And uh, if I put my transmitter next to it here, you'll see what happens. So it's basically not what you want. And you turn it off. See, mine uh, says inhibit here. Uh, everything is fine. As you can see here, so you pull, you want that to happen, you push, you want uh, this. This plane is up to, upside down here. And uh, same thing with the uh, ailerons, or call them elevons. Obviously I'm a beginner at this stuff. Now, um, on the plane, you can see here, I pick it up and it's turned off, so I've got the channel, uh, auxiliary ch channel set up to uh, turn it on and off. The receiver is just set up as any other receiver. Um, you've got your, this thing is offset a bit, but I've got the elevator and the ailerons plugged in, so we're, as well as the gear channel um, to have the uh, unit turn on and off. Um, the setup on this side, uh, two halves to the connections. One is on this side here for your, your uh, transmitter. I've got my AUX, elevator, and aileron. And then um, the other one for your servo, and that's where it's kind of uh, counterintuitive. You would think that for a Delta setup, you'd have to set it up with your left and right aileron. Uh, in fact, it's uh, left aileron and elevator. And I've got my elevator hooked up to my right servo here. The servo horn is on the other side, and I've actually had to re reverse this, uh, the gyros. On the dip switches, you definitely want to set up the delta, and that makes the little blinking uh, light uh, happen. Instead of a solid light, you get the blinking. Uh, so I've got the delta turned on. I've also got the... It's kind of hard to see here. I've got the delta turned on. I've got the aux control turned on or reversed, whichever way you want to look at it. And um, I also had to uh, reverse my uh, ele elevator and aileron um, gyro. So the the only thing that stays uh, on this one here is V tail and, and rudder. Might be different depending on how you've got yours set up. If this unit is on the top other side of the plane, then you wouldn't have to uh, reverse those channels. Okay, and now when I pick it up, you see nothing happens. I flip my gear switch, uh, then the unit starts to, uh, to work correctly. And as you see, if you pitch it forward, if you pitch it forward, the elevons go up, pitch it down, or pitch it up, sorry, the elevons go down. And that's that's correct. And now the same thing with the roll. If you roll it this way, the elevons the uh, flip, and that way they flip as well. So hopefully you can see that all right. Try to get it from behind here. I've got my gains set up pretty high here just to demonstrate this, but really I don't think you would need to have them um, that high to fly it. I hope that explains the setup of a Orange Axis uh, Hobby King unit here uh, for Delta Wing. Um, if you have any questions, you can post them down there and I'll try to answer you. Thanks. Have a great day.